Hello, so we're now going to be making my new luggage die set. So here it is, here's the die set. And you get everything in there, you get all the stitching details as well and these beautiful tags as well, I love those tags. So I've cut out the front and the back using the main die and I've folded all of the score lines. And I'm not going to assemble it just yet because there is an easier way to, to get this together and there is a little, a little bit more difficult way. So I have all of my tabs here as well. So these are my supports around the, around the edge of the luggage. So you need two of the long ones and two of the short ones and they have these score lines in. But I'm only going to score the one long one. I'm going to leave the score lines on the other. So let's get this one folded in half. There we go. And then what we're going to do is before we assemble the sides together, we're going to attach them together in the middle using this uh, joining piece here. So I'm going to be using my um, glue gun today just to speed things up. So this is the outside of the paper and your join needs to be bent both ways because it's going to be a hinge. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue this along that edge there. So let's add some glue just along here. You can use wet glue as well for this. I'm just trying to be quick today. So I just want the score line just to be peeking out as I put this on. There we go. There is our first one put on. And now we're going to add glue to the other side of the tab and then glue on the other side. And there we go. So we should have something that now looks like this. So now we can go ahead and start assembling our tabs just like so. So add glue to your tabs so that we can get the suitcase popped together. then we can add the rest of our supporting tab. So these do have the score lines in, but don't um, actually fold them. They are literally just there as a guideline. So you would pop that in so you could just about see the score line and that's as far down as you need to glue it. So I'm going to add some glue just along the bottom edge. And then I'm gonna pop this in just so I can just about see the score line popping out the top. There we go. Okay, so now we have the supporting tabs now for the opening. So that is all going to close up very nicely. Just tuck that in. There we go. So now that is closed, we can now add our straps. So here I have a few bits and bobs already cut out so I have a handle and four of these ones so these also have the stitched detail on there as well so I'm just going to glue these on there and now what I'm going to do is just add these two just across there. You can carry on with more straps around the back as well, but I'm just gonna quickly show you how I'm going to decorate this suitcase. So I've added glue just to the top part and I'm lining it up just like that. Oh, there we go, there goes that section there. So now we can just fold that down. And here I've already cut out some of the other straps. These are the other two straps. And I've also die cut some gold buckles too. And we're going to add those on to this section there. Add those. There we go. So that's the handle on. And now, um, in previous demonstrations, I have added some hook and loop tape to the underside of there. So add those onto there. And then we also have these little corners for your suitcase as well. So you get a circle with 
some fold lines so fold those over add some glue fold those over and again this suitcase would look great in a craft cardstock with some distressed ink around the edges so I'll put my glue to all of that and we'll get rid of all the strings later and then that just sticks onto the corner so I have all of these corners and the velcro to add and then I'll be right back to show you the finished suitcase so here is our finished suitcase it's fully functional you can open it up and pop stuff in there and it's going to be a really nice gift box and don't forget we also have some lovely luggage tags to match as well <laughs> 